going to be showing you all the boat launches on the Sac River and all the fishing spots that I know of on the Sac River. Uh, good for catching all sorts of different species of fish. So uh, stay tuned to the when end. This water level is real low on the Sac River. Uh, whenever you're launching a boat, always be careful of the drop off of the launch. Um, you could have your trailer tire go off the, the launch and uh, be stuck out there. Um, some of those ledges drop pretty good, so uh, just keep an eye out for that. Barge hole. This one is barge hole and it's right near Battle Creek. Uh, here's the launch. I don't know what it's called, but the coordinates are right there. This is the spot that everyone goes to on opening day and crowds up uh, super early in the morning and waits for the hour before uh, sunrise to uh, catch their first salmon of the year. So this is the spot right there, barge hole. So that was up north, now we're headed towards Sacramento. And our first stop is going to be Knight's Landing. And it's a little tiny town. Um, it's got a really nice boat launch. Um, it's good uh, salmon fishing for uh, late October, near the end, uh, last third round of salmon. And here it is here. All right, headed towards the Delta uh, on the Sac River, and this is Verona. Um, Verona has been closed for a few years now. Actually, you can't launch your boat there. Um, new ownership, uh, hopefully they were talking about reopening it, so we'll see if they want to open it to the public or keep it closed, but super good spot to fish, right where the feather and the Sac River wise. Really good spot. All right, keep going. And then uh, right by uh, five here, Highway Five, you got Fremont uh, by Swabies on the river um, and Elkhorn. This is a uh, Elkhorn boat launch, uh, pretty popular one. It's right under five and um, should have no trouble launching on this one. Always be careful for the low water. There's also day use on this one. Um, you can park right where you, uh, around where you launch the boat and fish all along right there. There's nice sand, uh, sandy spots to fish. And here's uh, Elkhorn Park, uh, another boat launch on the other side of the river, uh, not too far from five. And uh, this one's super low um water is pretty low right now so watch it when you uh launch on this one you can go off the edge uh several people have recently also so uh fyi on that one And then keep going uh, into Sackmore, and we got the famous Sand Cove. Um, this is a super good spot here for salmon and striped bass. Um, gotta get there early, uh, it does get busy there. So uh, super good sandy area, uh, it's a pretty big area. Super good spot. So these next two spots, um, just be careful when you go to them. Um, there is a lot of homeless people there, so make sure you lock up everything real tight. Uh, first one here is Discovery. It's right where the American and the Feather, I'm sorry, the American and Sac River uh, Y. Really nice boat launch, uh, big area right there. 
and uh, a lot of fishing access all around this area. And then right across the river there, uh, you have another boat launch and fishing area. Um, it's called Broderick area, and you could park there and walk all along um, the bank over here. Um, all this is accessible um, if you want to walk or electric bike or a bicycle. Um, but you can get to the uh, Broderick boat launch um, right here and fish all around there if you don't want to walk. Um, I think parking's free there and uh, just make sure your stuff is locked up and you can be just fine. All right, so all along the river here, there's a bike trail and um, there's tons of good fishing spots. If you take your bike along right here with your fishing pole, um, you can just ride along the river and find a bunch of um, hidden and new fishing spots. All right, and here's uh, Miller Park, another launch and uh, fishing area another good one all around fishing spot on the Sac River as you can see the sheriffs uh, like the launch there or at least on that picture that year they did All right, keep following river towards the delta, and then you'll run into uh, Garcia Bend, uh, another boat launch, mainly boat launch here. Um, there's a few fishing spots. Um, like I said, if you wanna park uh, your car and go for a walk with your fishing pole, or if you have your bike, this is another good one to ride your bike on. Super cool trail right on top of the river, and just ride your bike along until you find some good fishing spots and there is a lot of spots along there always look for the uh, round rock guys and the sand those are my favorite spots and there's also a little park in here uh, if you want to bring the family and this is pretty much the end of the trail or the start um, whatever uh, end you want to start from Headed towards the Delta still on the Sac River, Clarksburg boat launch. Uh, really cool boat launch, 
super good spot for sturgeon and striper. Um, just always be careful when you're launching, guys. I know this one uh, definitely goes down pretty far. Uh, you could also uh, just fish for the day. It's free out there uh, for parking. And there's a few spots on the bank to fish out there. All right, so I'm not too familiar with this uh, Sandy Beach County Park area, but there is a boat launch and a big, huge uh, sand area, it looks like, uh, for the family and to fish off of. Uh, it looks like a pretty big area, uh, pretty nice boat launch on the looks of it. Here's the famous uh, Sherman Island uh, on the Sac River. Um, this is right next to Sherman Lake um, and the Sac River uh, boat launch is on the Sherman Lake side. Um, but it's a really, really good area for uh, striper are hitting really hard around this area. Um, you just gotta know uh, kind of where to go. It gets pretty big. Um, when you're out here in the Delta so just uh, just make sure you know where you're going and tides and uh, all that good stuff before you head out there All right, really good for uh, sturgeon out here. Um, there's a boat launch, um, but you mainly gotta park right here and uh, kind of walk out to uh, where you're gonna fish at. Uh, there's a bait tackle um, nearby and it's a pretty cool area. Definitely good for uh, some sturgeon and striper out here. Um, Benicia area is known for its uh, sturgeon. 